Thinking about sales and innovation, this is really a fantastic topic because the sales force has really been blamed for a long time in business to business markets for halting the success of innovations. In order for organizations to truly grow organically, and that is business to business organizations, it, they really rely on the sales force as the growth engine. Salespeople are under pressure to make quarterly earnings targets. The organization's on pressure to make short-term victories. And in order for the sales force to do an effective job and to grow, we can't be focused on these uh, short-term objectives of the organization. We really have to be focused on long-term achievements of growth and building our relationships with customers and things of that nature. So these types of behaviors really have to stop in order for the sales organization to really thrive. If marketers took the initiative to be able to play a really critical role in showing what the long-term plan is and what are the barriers in the sales organization and the mechanism for communication to customers and showing value to customers and bring that to the leadership team and say, we need to be able to look at this long-term focus. Here's some of the things that are stopping us from doing that. By doing so, we're going to be able to make our entire organization more effective and the relationship between sales and marketing will be enhanced because they'll be on the same page. I am just finished a study on exactly that topic on how to compensate and reward different generations in the sales organization and their preferences and compensation. And we found really fascinating findings, a couple of the key things. First of all, that the millennials on one side are really looking for more team-based uh, rewards or incentives. They're also not as worried about um, individual recognition. Gen Y and, uh, and also the Gen X, those individuals tend to have more traditional thoughts about the workplace where they want to work a, four, a full 50, 45, 50 hour work week. They're not as worried about flexibility and things of that nature. I've been talking to people about this forever, that the salesperson is dead. And what we actually see is the size of sales organizations continue to grow year after year. Why is that? Because customers require that relationship, particularly in business-to-business -business selling. They want to have another person on the other side that helps them with problems, solves problems for them, is a value creator on the other side. If the only thing that that person is doing is delivering a product or assisting in the buying process, then they're not adding enough value. And those individuals, their jobs will be destroyed. Um, the people that will always be around are those people that create cr tremendous value for that customer. And they all stem from the creation of new ideas, new values on how that customer can proceed, make themselves more profitable, more effective. And that's really on sales organizations now. The most talented salespeople are really doing that. The heart of it is the salesperson challenging the existing uh, thought process to bring forth new ideas to be able to create value. That's what it's all about.